This video, we're going to talk about content protection inside a wishlist member. Now, one thing before I jump into this, I want to make a kind of set the context here. Uh, this is going to allow you content protection. If you go to wishlist member content protection, this is going to allow you to edit the protection on a sort of bulk level, but you can still always go into an individual uh, page or post or custom post type and see these settings down here and edit them as well as categories you can see you can uh, edit them on an individual category basis and so forth so you're still always going to be able to do that but what this allows you to do is mainly do it in bulk although you can edit them on an individual basis um, the main benefit of this is doing it in bulk now we're, we're going to cover pages uh, post pages and custom post types all together here because the interface and the way it works is actually the same it's just uh, a different sort of post type so if we go here to post you see we see a list of posts we have uh, this sort of interface then if we come over here to pages we're going to see a very similar interface very similar tools uh, and, and ability to edit these and over here on custom post type the only real difference is that you'll have this toggle to enable or disable protection so by default it will be disabled you simply click that and that will enable it and then the tools again are the same so i'm going to sort of lump these all together uh, and go through those one other thing here is you'll see that we have content and comments um, we have that on also pages and we have that on lessons now with pages there are actually tools and options and plugins and so forth that will allow you to enable comments uh, for pages which is why this is here um, however yours may not have that so this may not apply primarily with posts and just to explain the difference between these is you can with wish this member allow someone to have access to a post but not access to the comments so maybe your your model is that you're going to have all the posts open and free but if someone wants to comment then they need to be a member of the membership level or maybe you'll have a base membership where they get access to all the content and then they need an upgraded membership level in order to be able to comment so this gives you the ability to do that if that's something that you want to do all right so with that that stuff sort of out of the way let's talk about uh the interface here so first and foremost you're gonna like i said you're gonna see a list of your posts here you can see a, a number of pieces of information so you're gonna see the name of the post you're going to see its status is set to unprotected and this lock sort of mirrors uh, what you'll uh, what the status is so this lock will change based off of the status you're going to see if paper post is turned on or not and and what what kind uh, of paper post so per member access if it's set to paid then that means uh, only the paid version of the paper post is turned on uh, if it says free then both free and paid are enabled uh, how many members so how many uh, individual users have access to this particular post through the paper post functionality the categories it belongs to and then the date that it was published you'll see here you can also sort by name and by date you'll see a few icons here this one's to view the content so this will take you to the front end to view the piece of content and this one will pop open a box that will allow you to edit the protection status and the paper post users on an individual post basis okay also clicking the name of the post will do the same thing up here you have a search box so this will allow you to search for uh, individual posts so you can just type in your search term here you can search by a particular level and by a particular post status published scheduled etc to find the post that you're after you know if you have more than a certain number of posts and you'll see pagination here kind of your standard interface but the big thing that we're going to do here while I'm moving fast through everything else is what you're primarily going to do here is you're going to edit uh, posts in bulk. And so you'll be able to here we have one, but, you know, if we went over to pages, we have multiple that we could select here. Uh, but what you're going to do is select a number of of posts on here and then you're going to edit some sort of uh, protection or access or, or perform some sort of action for all of those posts at once so we can come up here and we can edit the protection status so this allows us to change it between protect unprotected protected and inherited unprotected uh, fairly obvious it means the post is public anybody can access it they don't need to belong to a membership level 
protected means that it is protected by wishlist member and then you will have to assign membership levels that will be able to access it and members will have to belong to those membership levels in order to access this piece of content inherited uh, it means different things in different content context but it essentially means it's going to inherit the protection status from its parent now in a post context that means the category right because posts can belong to two categories so if you want it to inherit the protection status from the category you would use this inherited um, in a page context because there's no categories and pages but you have uh, parent and child pages then if you have have created a, a page that is a child of some other uh, page you can select inherited and it will inherit the protection status of that parent page and if you change so if you change the the protection or access settings for the category for posts it will change this particular post as well same with parents if you if you use inherited and you change the the protection access settings for the parent the child will change as well so that's what inherited is we're going to just go ahead and hit uh, protected here and we'll update our protection and the page will reload and that's going to change then change this to uh, protected we can come back in here and select this and then we can you can see here you can do a number of things you can add levels to content so you can select membership levels that you want to add to this per post uh, add to this particular post you can remove levels um, you can edit per member access so if we click this open then we can change it from free to pay to disabled etc uh, you can also add pay per post members so you can come in here and you can search for members uh, and then you can add those to this particular post you can add that member as a pay per post user uh, we come down here then you can remove pay per post members so same idea you can come in here find a member and remove them uh, from the pay per post as well so again that's pretty straightforward the main value here is being able to do this in bulk being able to do multiple posts uh, at once and just to reiterate the the idea here is very uh, the same for posts pages and lessons you're going to have the same uh, actions the th same things you can do and perform and so forth so that is content protection for posts pages and custom post types